And welcome back YouTube, this is Booster Box Buster here with another video. Today, I'm here to share with you a small comic book pickup, but a very important comic book pickup video. As today I'm here to share with you my very first graded comic book that I've ever bought that was added to my collection. And let me tell you, it is a beauty of a cover. But before we get to that, I do have a few other comic books I want to share with you. First up, from the Grim Fairy Tales line, we got Grim Tales of Terror, issue number one. A very nice cover with a little pesky barcode at the bottom there that kind of ruins the immersion of the art. But for a dollar, you can't complain. And then up next, from the Grim Fairy Tales line, we got Return to Wonderland, a Wonder World comic exclusive issue number 6, limited to 500 copies worldwide. And I gotta say, this I love this particular angle that the artist drew this from. As you can see her just laying in that field of flowers. Now this one does have a, I believe a blonde version that goes for quite a bit more money. And it's a lot more scarce, too. I think it's like a 250 limited edition versus a 500 limited edition. And then we have Grim Fairy Tales, I believe, issue number three. Sleeping Beauty, uh, jcompanycomics.com exclusive. Just like the previous cover, this one does have multiple color variants, I believe a blue and a pink cover variant, that are more scarce than this particular one. And this, one, this next one I'm very happy to add to my collection. From, once again, Grim Fairy Tales, we got Van Helsing vs. Frankenstein issue number 4. The Red Carpet Foil Exclusive, limited to 100 ish, uh, copies worldwide. Now something a little bit different about this one compared to the other ones is... Uh, you see these red Xenoscope uh, logos in the background? They act, they're actually foil, so when you, the light hits them right, they actually gleam, and that's really awesome. And that is what makes this particular cover desirable, is that uh, foil effect. Now here's one that I'm not quite sure if I want to collect the series on yet, but I got it for a really good price and I thought, oh, I'll pick it up. It's Vamp Blade Season 3, Issue 8, the Risque Variant. Now, for obvious reasons, I did have to do a bit of, censor a bit of censorship because she is 100% topless underneath that uh, piece of paper there. Like I said, I'm not quite sure if I want to um, pursue collecting the Vamp Blade series. I picked it up because it was a good deal and I liked the art, but... I don't know if I'm going to continue to collect that or not. So with that being said, we've reached the meat and potatoes part of this video, that being the graded comic book. Alright, are you ready for this? Here we go, graded comic. It is a beauty, let me tell you what. From the Grim Fairy Tales line, we have Bad Girls, issue number one, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive variant. And I gotta say, what a beautiful cover. You have, oh, let me just adjust this a bit. You have 
almost what looks to be like a hellscape scene here. You got the blood running down the waterfalls, the chains to uh, restrain and potentially torture individuals, the mountain of skulls, the pool or uh, the pool of blood at the bottom there, and fire everywhere. It is a beautiful work of art. Now, unfortunately, you can't see it here, but I'm going to bring it down real quick. We got a CGC grading of 9.6. CGC. Now, I got to say, um, a lot of people have issues with 9.6 comic books, but... I, I think that that's perfectly fine, especially with the limited edition one that's, I think, only has less than 500 copies printed worldwide, to have a 9.6 comic book. In my opinion, if it's 9.0 or higher, it's perfectly fine being in anybody's collection. I don't know why people are so stuck on that it needs to be 9.8 or I don't want it. Because it was 9.6, I was able to add it to my collection for a really really good price and this is a comic cover that I really wanted and it's very hard to find on the secondary market nowadays. But because it was 9.6 people didn't want it. So it's very sad that uh, people are so stuck on needing to be 9.8 or higher in order to, for it to be in their collection for uh, modern day comics. All right. Uh, and I do know that there are multiple other, or not multiple, there are two other comic rating book services out there. Uh, CBCS is, I know, the one that a lot of people go with. And I, I don't know if they're in, I don't know if they still grade comics nowadays or not, but there used to be one called PGX. But I read reviews that their grading service is nowhere near as good as uh, CGC or CBCS. So most people nowadays, in order to add it to their collection, it has to be either CGC or CBCS. Uh, please let me know in the, comment, in the comment section down below if you prefer CGC or CBCS or PGX and uh, what grade of a comic book you collect. For me, like I said, anything 9.0 or higher is perfectly fine with me. I don't understand why people get so stuck on need to be 9.8 or I don't want it. Obviously, everybody has exceptions for the golden age of comics because if you have a 9, a graded 9.8 golden age comic, I, I don't know how that thing was preserved for that long to get a 9.8, but uh, yeah. It just seems like with modern comics, people are like 9.8 or it's it's worthless to me, which is sad. Because 9.6s, 9.4s, 9.0s, they all need homes as well. <sighs> but yeah, that's just my little bit of a rant on why people are so stuck on the 9.8 thing. Obviously, if it's higher than 9.8, people like ogle over that and they like I must add it to my collection I don't care what it is 9.9 10.0 I want it now that type of thing but uh yeah it's to me like I said 9.6 it's still an incredibly well kept in sh in great condition comic book just with a few few minor flaws or one particularly moderate flaw <sighs> Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Um, please let me know what you thought of the video if you want to see me continue to do this series with my comic book pickups. Um, and I think that's all I have to say. This has some Booster Max Buster. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And please check out a past video that may be popping up right about now or it already has popped up. Until next time, uh, peace.